welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. So my channel is all about fashion, mostly bags, travels, and just random blogs. If you guys are into this type of video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys will always get notified every time I post a new video. So for today is I am going to share you guys a few treasures inside my closet and I already had these bags for months now and actually this is the first time that I'm going to share it with you guys in my channel. So the first item that I'm going to share with you guys is this beautiful bag right here. So this is my Birkin 30 Togo leather palladium hardware in rose Pupre, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, I really love this color. Initially, I was thinking of getting this bag in um, ostrich leather, but um, I kind of decided just to kind of go for the le regular leather for now. It's because I was thinking about the um, the price range at the time. Plus, um, I was also thinking if I will be able to maintain the the leather as well i know i can it's just that it, i i don't know probably i'm not ready at the time so instead of going to the ostrich leather i just decided to go for the regular one instead so i am not gonna do any what's in my bag or what fits in here and all that stuff i'm not gonna do a mod shirt as well it's because um a lot of people are doing that already you guys can check it out i also did that um, a few months back you guys can watch that as well um, again the the reason why this is the first time I showed you this one is it's the same thing it's a Birkin 30 I already showed this a couple of times the only difference is the color and again I'm just sharing this with you because I love bags and I love you guys that's why I'm sharing it right now so the next item that i'm going to share with you guys is um actually this is my first exotic leather this brand and this is my cdc and this is in gold hardware and this one is in um lizard leather as you guys can see it does have that beautiful blue and um black color i should say so i really like this one i've been using this one a lot too but on this one i am more careful because of uh it's, this is an exotic leather um i do have some exotic leathers and a uh, smaller piece pieces but um on the bigger ones like this um birkin right here um i don't have that one yet um, hopefully I will be able to get one of the alligator or the croc one but as of right now um, I'm happy with that one I'm just gonna try the ostrich first but um, here is my start for the exotic leathers and then the next item that I'm going to show you is um, this one right here so this is my Constance uh, c24 constance 24 in box leather so um as you guys know i've been doing review of the inspired ones for the c24 and c18 and then when i finally decided to go for the actual bag i went ahead and go for the c24 it's because um in terms of capacity i can put a lot more on the c24 compared to the c18 so it's one of the reason why i went for this size um if you guys are gonna ask me if i am going to go for c18 i'm not sure yet <laughs> but um because with me right now if i'm going to buy something i just want to make sure that it's more practical and i was i am going to able to use it so yeah this is my um constants in box leather in palladium hardware i really love it um this one you need to kind of wipe it um quick uh review in regards with the leather um this is a box leather so you guys have to be very very careful with this one um 
This one is more prone to scratches and then as much as possible is don't use this one especially when it's raining because if this one gets wet they said that it's going to get blister. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually true. I haven't tried this. I haven't worn this one or wear this one when it was drizzling or even raining. I don't want to risk it because first of all this one is an expensive bag and uh, I don't want to have regrets later on. On the outside of the bag, I have more scratches on the inside compared to the outside. On the outside of the bag, let's see if this one will cover it. Not sure. There's a scratch right there, and then there's another one right here as well. Oh, hold on. Okay, the camera is not picking it up, but up. Uh, I have few scratches all over this um, bag. I also have some indentation on the sides as well in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So I think that should be it for today, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.